This is Gone to the Snow Dogs and welcome to the Lion's Den! Hey everybody and welcome to the Lion's Den. Happy holidays to you and yours. One week to go until Christmas. Well, a little bit more, but uh, tomorrow we've got Project for Awesome coming up. I'm giving everything the channel makes this month to charity to Toys for Tots, so make sure to share the episode around. If you haven't noticed also, Toys for Tots was inspired a bit by Ellen, who I'm tweeting every day until she comes on my show, or she could have me on hers, that'd be cool, but I really just want to interview her on my show. We got a special interview today with Gone to the Snow Dogs, one of the first interviews on the show, and now a year later, almost to the day. So here we are, over a year later, it's amazing to see where the both of us have gone and what we've all done and what we've accomplished. So I hope you guys enjoy this interview with Jess from Gone to the Snow Dogs, along with Shiloh and Shelby, two of the cutest dogs in the world. If there was one interview you guys need to go check out, this is the one. This is the one you need to check out. They've done so much in the past year, and hopefully we'll touch on that a little bit in this interview. Jess, you guys have moved houses, you've made a second channel, you've entered a number of contests, won a few. Uh, you guys have really had quite the year. What's been the highlight of your year so far? I would have to say that the highlight of the past year was definitely moving in to the new house. Um, we've never really had a big backyard for the dogs and the yard that we have here is three times the size at least of the yard that we used to have so it's really nice to see the dogs be able to actually play and have fun at their own house. What are the best and worst comments you guys can remember on one of your videos? I have a video up that I put up last year or so and it's it's of Shiloh and she's chewing on a raw bone um, that my mom had gotten for her. I actually had to disable comments on that video because in the video I kind of tease Shiloh a little bit and she growls a little and shows her teeth. It's probably the only time you'll actually see Shiloh looking mean. Um, and it's some people just left really nasty comments telling me that the dog was aggressive, that I was a bad dog owner. I, the comments were insane, so I, I ended up just disabling comments on the video altogether because I was just tired of reading all the negativity. Shiloh was just acting. When it comes to the best comment, it's not really a single comment, it's more like a group of comments. The best type of comments I get are the comments I get from people that tell me, you know, I love watching your videos, I love watching your dogs because I used to have huskies and I can no longer have them and I love being able to live vicariously through your dogs. Those comments, those are my favorite. They mean so much to me because I get to share all the joy that these two bring to us with everybody else. What's your most memorable YouTube related experience? I have two. Um, the first one would have to be when we were featured on the Will of DC show. That was really cool. Um, and the second one would have to be when Tabuscus subscribed to our channel, which I, it was just nuts. I got the email that said, Tabuscus has subscribed to your channel, and I just couldn't believe it. That was pretty cool, too. So those would be my two. Not only has your channel changed a lot in the last year, but so has YouTube. How do you feel about these recent changes? When the changes were first made on YouTube, when I first logged on and saw everything had changed, like everybody else, I thought, oh my gosh, everything's changed and I hate it. And I used it for a little while and actually I, I kind of like most of the changes that they've made. What do you guys hope to accomplish through your videos? And, and Jamie, I hear you hiding back there. You need to get on camera too one of these days. We do videos every Friday called Fan Friday where we take questions from our fans and answer them and some of the questions we answer are questions about the breed, questions about dogs in general. And I like to help people with their pets. I like to help them learn about this amazing breed. As you can tell, Shelby's being a clown. <laughs> you guys started a vlogging channel in the last year to really connect with your viewers and your friends on a more personal level. How important do you see that connection being to the success of a channel? I think getting to know the fans is very important. I know one of the things that I've tried to do ever since I started my channel was to respond to every single comment that we've gotten. Um, I think when you build that connection with people, it makes them not only enjoy watching your videos more, it makes you want it makes them want to watch your videos more because they feel connected to you. Like you you're paying attention to them. And they matter. The viewers make all the difference. They matter the most. Um, it's one of the reasons we started our second channel. We, a lot of people wanted to know more about Jamie and I's lives in general. So we figured, what the heck? 
we have the cameras on us all the time anyway, we might as well vlog our lives at the same time we vlog the lives of the dogs. Last but not least, do you guys have anything you'd like to say to the viewers before you go? It really means a lot to us to know that we have all of this support and all of these people who, who love to help us when we ask. Um, we wouldn't be where we are today with, without all of that support. And we really want to say thank you to everybody. Some of you may know that Shelby took third place in the Bissell Most Value Pet Photo Contest this year. Just the other day, we got the package in the mail. It has Shelby's picture on it. So we thought we would share that with you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to stop you right here. Go to Gone to the Snow Dogs right here. This link right here. Don't even bother with the link in the doobly-doo. Go to this link right here. And check them out. They're one of the channels in my box. They're one of the best supporters of the show. One of my best friends here on YouTube. Go check them out and go subscribe. And make sure you tell them you saw them here on the Lion's Den. Don't forget to pass along this episode to somebody because everything the show makes this month goes to Toys for Tots. Make somebody else smile and make a little kid smile at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. And may you always have peace and love. Blasted.